traffic trouble in Dauphin County when two motorcycles collide, how a third vehicle may have been involved. Plus, a grim diagnosis and emotional outpouring. What doctors say about Senator Kennedy's diagnosis of brain cancer. And a big win for underdog Hillary Clinton, but tonight sees Barack Obama declaring victory right now. You're watching WHTF, ABC 27. Now, live from the station working for you, this is ABC 27 News Nightside. Good evening, I'm Melissa Richards. And I'm Al Ganoza. Thanks for joining us. We begin with continuing coverage of the... A bus full of local students rolls over into traffic, creating a terrifying end to a field trip. I'm Tanya Foster. And I'm Mike Parker. We're live on the scene with the latest details. Then a CBS 21 News a special report. How to choose the very best daycare for your child. Plus, a community wants three convicted sex offenders out of their neighborhood. What authorities are planning to do. We begin tonight with team coverage as we have a terrifying bus crash involving dozens of... You're watching WGAL 8. Now, coverage you can count on continues from the home of Super Doppler 8. This is News 8 at noon. The six people, including three middle school students, remain hospitalized following... Covering the Susquehanna Valley, you're watching News 8 at noon with Dick Hawksworth, Lori Burkholder, and meteorologist Matt Ritter. Now, coverage you can count on continues. An appeals court says paper money discriminates against... Now, Fox 55 News at 9. First tonight on Fox, today is the last day of work for employees at the Dontar Paper Mill in Port Edwards. The mill is shutting down, leaving 500 people without a job. And in a small town of just under 2,000 people, the closure is hitting hard. Good evening, I'm Jenna Bennett. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 55 News at 9. After 150 years, Dontar's Port WIXT 9 in Syracuse. From the WIXT 9 Broadcast Center, Rod Wood and Carrie Lazarus, Doug Logan on sports, and Rick Gary with weather. This is 9 Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. Children waiting on the street corners, yellow buses flashing red lights, and bells ringing. It's the. You're watching ABC 40. supporters of a former presidential hopeful say they now realize how important party unity is. U.S. soldiers in Iraq could soon find themselves serving elsewhere and axes take aim at a local landmark. This is ABC 40 News this morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. I'm Faye Hoffman. We'll have a check on the morning's top stories and traffic in just a moment. But first, you're watching CBS 3 Springfield, Springfield's new choice for local news. Now, live from downtown Springfield, this is CBS 3 Springfield News at 11. A big day for Democrats. The party now officially has a candidate for president and vice president. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Tome. Topping our first five minutes is the Democratic National Convention. Barack well, tonight, the Bush administration makes a major move to help a massive insurance company. Full story coming up in a live report from Washington. He says America's in the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression, Why Obama says it's the GOP's fault. I'm Matt Garcia, a Colorado delegate and a Denver attorney goes to the RNC and gets robbed of thousands of dollars. He alleges he was drugged by a woman he took to his hotel room. The story coming up. Sit down! The judge in the OJ case losing her cool Why she's yelling at the lawyers on both sides. And a new hybrid you can plug in at home. The government may have saved yet another giant from becoming victim to the financial crisis tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ernie Bjorkman. And I'm Kelly McMullen. Thanks for being with us tonight. Just earlier on, the government... Connected to Colorado and the entire Rocky Mountain region, you're watching two. 
Jason on Sunday? We may actually see some wow. clouds by then. All right. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> That's the news for this Tuesday night. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 5.30 and 9 o'clock. Family Guy is up next. Have a great night, everyone. See you tomorrow. about the health of my children. Communities outrage. Your kids ain't out there playing underneath this damn thing. Over a project they say could pose serious health risks. When you go door to door, you realize how many cases of cancer there really is. Tonight, Unit 9 investigates what you need to know. But first tonight, the financial crisis on Wall Street is now about to hit your wallet. Good evening, everyone. New York City is about to get hit with massive budget cuts. And you loved her at night. Now you'll love her in the morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Rosanna Scano joins Greg Kelly on Good Day New York. Stealing bases may be encouraged in baseball, but stealing... Campaign 08, the vice presidential debate. From St. Louis, Missouri, here is Katie Curry. Good evening, everyone. We're back. This is a WBZ News 4 special report. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jack Williams of Boston Celtics. We're ready to make a major announcement. Apparently, uh, Dave Gabbitt's going to be out. ML Carr moving up. There's Bob LaBelle. In a world of 5, 50, or 500 channels, there's only one channel where you can wake up with Bryant Gumble and Katie Couric on today. Only one channel where Tom Brokaw offers you solutions on nightly news with America Close Up. Where Jane Pauley and Stone Phillips bring you compelling stories on Dateline. And coming in August, Tom and Katie together in prime time. And that channel is NBC. From morning till night, the place to get your news. From NBC News, Decision 2008, the presidential debates. Here is Brian Williams. Good evening. Just over one minute from now, the second. You're watching Local 4, the home of ClickOnDetroit.com. Local 4 News at 530 starts right now. A hallway hero. This young woman is alive tonight thanks to one of her classmates who came to her rescue at school. It was a dramatic scene at a Roseville High School. A student was choking until one of her classmates stepped in. And it all started... We're watching Local 4, the home of ClickOnDetroit.com. Local 4 News at 6 starts right now. He was just starting the second grade when his dad left for Iraq. Today, this third grader can finally stop counting down the days till his favorite soldiers return. Good evening. The wait is over for one local family after a very long year. Uh, it ended tonight at 10. Breaking news, a courthouse controversy. What several clerks are accused of doing that got them suspended. The economy's bad, there's a credit crunch, and you can imagine what that's done to auto sales. We look at options for consumers. Firefighters do it. Now the Harper Woods Police Department is looking at 24-hour shifts. Potentially risky chemicals contaminating teenagers. Why they may be doing it to themselves and not even know it. Breaking news involving one of the country's busiest courts. Clerks accused of fixing tickets inside Detroit's 36th District Court. Fox New disturbing information involving last month's tragic commuter train crash in Long Island. Fox 2 News Weekend. It's a great team. I love it. That's my favorite. It's friendly. I plan my entire week according to the weather. I think they do a great job. Latest, greatest news. Fox 2 News Weekend, starting at 7 a.m. Fox, have a home improvement or repair... Bill Perkins is on the edge. Fox 2 News, Edge at 11, starts now. Some call it Obama drama. Tonight, a radio reporter is out of a job, fired because of what she wore to work. 
On the edge tonight, T-shirt trouble for a well-known voice on WWJ Radio. The logo said that she was a fan of Barack Obama and when her... Come to the Charlotte Mecklenburg 14 Carolina, the one for your news. From across the state or across town, News 14 Carolina delivers news you can use where you can use it. On cable, online, and on demand. The one for your news now. When you want it, on your schedule, morning, noon, or night. News 14 Carolina, North Carolina's local news network. The one for stories about you, for you. News 14 Carolina and News14.com from Time Warner Cable. Twelve twenty one is the time. Thanks for checking. This is your morning news on News 14 Carolina. Good morning, I'm Rob Bovere. You're watching News 14 Carolina, the area's first and only channel to bring you local. A major development in the financial world as Citigroup announces plans to acquire Charlotte-based bank Wachovia. The news came early this morning. We'll have the latest. News 14 Carolina. Your news now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Bovier. This is your best source for local news, weather. WBTV News 3, prime time. Wachovia sold to Citigroup the latest casualty of the economic crisis. One Charlotte-based bank is crumbling, the other holding its own in these tough economic times. A tale of two banks. Where's the gas? WBTV on your side asking why pumps are still dry after the weekend's large shipment. A rough ride for some local elementary students what landed their bus down this embankment. On your side. The 7 o'clock solution. WBTV News 3, prime time. Good evening, I'm Maureen O'Boyle. Thanks for being here on this Monday. The banking landscape of Charlotte takes a drastic turn today, whether or not... News that doesn't waste your time. WBTV News 3 this morning, 5 to 7 a.m. At Town & Country Ford, our goal is to beat any other... The gas crisis in Charlotte. WBTV was on your side as stations went dry showing you the reason behind the shortage, how to make it last, and when relief would arrive. WBTV News 3 on your side, every newscast, every day. Tonight at 11 on WBTV News 3, long lines at the pump. Tonight, we're finding out who really needs gas and who's just topping off their tank. Carolina lawmakers helping kill a bailout bill. Tonight, what your neighbors think should be done now to save the economy. It's tonight at 11 here on WBTV News 3. Who has the experience we need? Next Monday. WBTV News 3 starts now. Bank workers in Center City are reeling tonight. Thousands of Wachovia jobs could be in jeopardy. Meanwhile, local lawmakers helped kill a $700 billion bailout. And some say Charlotte and the country will never be the same. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Paul Kemp. I'm Tanya Bendixson. The drama started with news that Citigroup was buying Wachovia, but that was only the beginning. Wachovia shares tanked in... Tuesday morning on WBTV, updated information on the Wachovia Bank situation and its impact on Charlotte. And where can you get the correct information about those chain emails so you don't get duped? Al? John will be tracking the idea of some thunderstorms here for the afternoon hours Tuesday, plus cooler weather ahead. And Chuck Rhodes has the traffic situation Tuesday at 5 a.m. I'm Jamie Bull. Every 20 minutes, another child is diagnosed with autism. They need our help. WBTV On Your Side is proud to support Walk Now for Autism. Join us Saturday, October 4th at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Walk to raise awareness and fund research. Register now or get more information at WBTV.com. Not only is real fall. Thanks for watching our news tonight. Thanks for making us your first choice of news at 11 o'clock. Good night, everybody. Sleep well. We'll see you tomorrow.
Your evening news continues on News 14 Carolina. Thank you for staying with News 14 Carolina. I'm Heather Childers. It is the bottom of the hour. And now here's Tim Boyum with our top stories. Multiple developments in the financial and banking worlds today. You are watching Carolina's News Channel 36. The supply didn't come through to meet the demand, so those long lines for gas you see there may greet you once again Monday morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Anjanette Flowers. That story in just a minute. But first, we have some breaking news out of Rowan County tonight. Agents from Immigration and Customs Enforcement along with Battleground State coming up. Watching Carolina's News Channel 36 with Aunt Jeanette Flowers, the first Warren Storm Team's Daniela Lopez, and Sports with Ira Cronin. Soon. Friday morning on News Channel 36, we were live as drivers lined up all night to fill up. Monday morning, we're checking back. How's the situation after that gas shipment arrives? A whole different weather picture shaping up for a new week. I'll have your first Warren forecast Monday morning at 5. And Decision 2008 News tonight, we are less than six weeks away from Election Day on November 4th. And the presidential... You got to stick around. Panthers game day is coming up next with Greg Bailey and Mike Mentor. They are ready. Have a great night, everybody. The first warm storm team. First with severe weather warnings and the most accurate daily forecast. It's our promise to you. The first warm storm team puts your family's safety first. Crime Tracker 36 in your neighborhood. We're not just reporting on crime, but looking for trends. With our mobile newsrooms in your neighborhood, we show how people are coming together to fight crime, looking for solutions, looking out for you. Park Chevrolet, though. You're watching Carolina's News Channel 36. All eyes on Wall Street today after the worst closing in history. What it all means for you as lawmakers scramble to try to fix the major financial crisis on Wall Street. Of course, we're still reeling from the news. Wachovia bought by Citigroup. We're learning more about what it means for employees of Wachovia, customers, and the city of Charlotte. Plus, fire rips through a South Charlotte business. We're live as investigators try to figure out what sparked the flames. Good morning and thanks for joining us here on News Channel 36. I'm Alex Reed. And I'm Colleen Odegaard. We are glad that you're with us. Jeff Campbell is off today. We're watching Wall Street right now, a day. You're watching Carolina's News Channel 36 Midday with Colleen Odegaard, Jeff Campbell, and the first Warren Star team's Larry Sprinkle. When severe weather hits, chat live with the First Warren Storm Team on WCNC.com's weather blog. An interactive way to ask questions and talk about the weather in your neighborhood with our weather experts. Only at WCNC.com. At Carolina's News Channel 36, we are in your neighborhood when and where news happens. We are watching the skies for severe weather. We are your neighbors. We live here and work here. We are. We are. We are. Carolina's News Channel 36. Hundreds of unruly fans start a riot at a rugby match. Check out this video. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think I was, I was going to win. His fight for Major League Baseball in Uptown is costing you why he won't quit. Plus, empty pumps and stranded cars. When will we see some relief? And a free ride that's also eco-friendly. How one Charlotte company's making it happen next. Definition Studios at Fox Charlotte's. This is Fox News at 10. We were told things would be better by now, but tonight Charlotte is still running on empty. Good evening. I'm Rebecca Clark. And I'm Brian Blakely. We found people again waiting in long lines with pumps dry across Charlotte today. Fox Charlotte's Eva Pilgrim is live in South Charlotte. Eva, how much longer will we have to wait for the gas? Well, getting it in high definition. Stick around. Got game is next with Bruce and Kelly. And how about them Panthers today, guys? How about them? Could they have looked any better? Total team yes. effort today. And Live from the high definition studios at Punk Charlotte's, this is Fox Got Game.
Jimmy keeps on cruising while Kyle. Hey there, Morning Glory, and welcome back to Fox News Rising. I'm Anna Quinn. Barbers. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fox News Rising 731 uh, on this month. Channel 9 Eyewitness News Daybreak starts right now with your first look at current weather conditions and overnight news in high definition. Good morning, it's three minutes before five o'clock and there are some wet streets around the area. Some light rain in Charlotte south to the southwest down into York County. And once you get to Rock Hill and south, or a little heavier rain. There's some thunder and lightning in Lancaster County, parts of Fairfield. From the news team covering the Carolinas, live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News Daybreak, 5 a.m. in high definition. It is back to the drawing board for congressional leaders after this. You're watching Channel 9 Eyewitness News Daybreak, 5 a.m. with Scott Wickersham, Natalie Pascarella, meteorologist Mark Watkins, and Jamie Bowers with traffic. Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And now to breaking news in Hickory. We have breaking news out of West Charlotte right now. In the now. last 30 minutes, police had to call for a Let's bigger... Let's go live now to Chapter 9 Skies here and for a massive fire. fire. coverage of breaking news as it happens. Let's go back live now. A three-alarm fire has shut down a major road. Troopers now tell us the driver... Police believe the robbers came the into... The best the in breaking news coverage. Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Covering the Carolinas in high definition. Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. The major local news of the day. Complete coverage of today's news from where you live. Breaking news as it happens and... Early warning, times of severe weather. Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. Eyewitness News Daybreak 5 a.m. Continues now in high definition. Two very big... You're watching Carolina's News Channel 36 with Sonia Gant, Dave Wagner, and the First Born Storm Team's Brad Panovich. You're watching Carolina's News Channel 36 with Bobby Sis, Jennifer Copeland, and the First Born Storm Team's Brad Panovich. You're watching Carolina's News Channel 36 with Sonia Gant, Dave Wagner, the First Warned Storm Team's Brad Panovich, and Sports with Greg Bailey. Thus, I'm Dan Cohen. And I'm Rekha Mutaraj. News 8 at 5 starts right now. News 8 in HD is brought to you by Wells Fargo. With crime fighters coverage that keeps you and your family safe. This is News 8 at 5. Get a lot of news to get to this morning, everyone, and we will in just a few seconds, but we want to start with Crime Fighters coverage that keeps you and your family safe. Barbara Lee Edwards, Carlo Chiquetta, meteorologist Matt Bela, and sports with Kyle Traska. This is News 8 at 6.30. Live from Seattle, this is Q13 Fox News at 10 with David Rose, Lara Yamada, Sports with Dan Devone, and Walter Kelly's Fox First Forecast. Tonight, a federal layman charged with a hate crime. Every day has its moments. So make the most of them by waking up with Q13 Fox News this morning. Sunny skies and warm temps, in fact, about as good as it gets for this time of the year. But that's now clear. The roadway is open. Traffic should be getting better any minute now. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Make sure you get out and enjoy it. See you tomorrow morning. Make it a great day with Q13 Fox News this morning. Fox Wednesday. The C Live news at 5.30 p.m. The only local newscast on at 5.30. When other stations turn to national news, only Fox 5 stays local, bringing you the big stories from right here in Vegas. Fox 5 News, the only local newscast on at 5.30. Fox 5 News, now on at 11 p.m. You're watching Fox 5 News at 10 with Shelley Bruner, John Hunt, Fox 5 Weather 24-7, with Chief Meteorologist Darren Beck and Sports with Kevin Bollinger. This is Fox 5 News at 10, local Las Vegas.
We have new details tonight in the local voter fraud investigation. A local group known as ACORN was raided yesterday. Noticias desde varios sectores buscan que las campañas estén lejos del dinero del narco. Lo invitamos a que nos acompañe a las noticias más importantes del día. Poner fin al hostigamiento del Infonavit a sus agremiados para pagar las deudas hipotecarias. Develan placa en memoria de las víctimas del accidente en Santa Catarina ocurrido el pasado 1 de abril del 2007, estamos año y medio. Aseguran especialistas que trastornos psicológicos van en aumento debido a la violencia que se vive en Nuevo León. Las condiciones en el área metropolitana, 25 grados centígrados, el viento está desde el este a 11 kilómetros por hora, el cielo está despejado, preciosamente despejado, diría yo, el barómetro 1017 milibares. Esto es... Informativo Nuevo León. Buenas noches, gracias por acompañarnos. Estamos iniciando el mes de octubre, el décimo. Información con Manuel Díaz Valdera. Aquí, en Soy Guerrero Noticias. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Es un gusto saludarles nuevamente en este espacio informativo de Soy Guerrero Noticias en nuestra edición nocturna. Les saluda su servidor Manuel Díaz Valdera. Así es, iniciamos un nuevo mes y nosotros estamos listos con la información. Saraí, iniciamos con la misma. Si fue víctima de un robo de autopartes, ya puede reclamar su pieza. Piden vigilar que el dinero para las campañas políticas no venga del narcotráfico. Próximamente en Guanajuato abrirá una nueva zona arqueológica. A pesar de las inconformidades en Guanajuato, se impulsará el convenio de alianza por la calidad. Dan pro... Los verdes regresan a la actividad este fin de semana al enfrentar a tuberos de Colima. de nueva cuenta, bienvenidos a TV4 Noticias, la primera emisión Saraí, hoy festejando en el día Saludamos y le damos la más cordial bienvenida a nuestros amigos que nos están sintonizando a través de la señal de Mexicana Sube nuevamente el precio de los combustibles Esta es la adecuación número 21 en lo que va del año Debido a la crisis económica por la que atraviesa Estados Unidos, el envío de remesas disminuye considerablemente. Bloquea la Coordinadora Nacional de Trabajadores de la Educación los accesos a las oficinas de pensiones civiles del Estado. En los deportes, con tres cuando Inés, Michoacán estará presente en el campeonato panamericano. Y en la cultura, concluye el encuentro de artistas Letras de un Nuevo Siglo. Amigos televidentes y si escucha nos da mucho gusto. Juan Carlos Núñez Armas es el nuevo presidente de la Junta de Coordinación Política del Congreso del Estado de México. Sustituye al diputado Erubiel Ávila Villegas. La Procuraduría General de Justicia del Estado de México captura a cuatro presuntos secuestradores. 
operaban en Esahualcóyotl, Chimalhuacán y Los Reyes. En Jalapa, Veracruz, el líder agrario Ramiro Guillén, que ayer se prendió fuego para ser escuchado, hoy perdió la vida. Nuevamente, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Un gusto saludarle. Vamos a los detalles de las noticias. Con... Ce soir, au Téléjournal, Québec n'en a que pour Céline. Le rendez-vous des plaines. La diva déplace les foules à Québec. Rumeur électorale. Il n'y a rien encore de confirmé, mais je vous, je vous avoue que de plus en plus, pour moi, ça, ça paraît sérieux tout ça. Le Parti conservateur met la machine en marche. Récolte fructueuse pour le Canada à Pékin. Épreuve laborieuse pour Adam Van Coverden. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. C'est l'un des moments forts du 400e anniversaire de Québec. Céline... Tonight, sizing up teen sex, how PEI's youth are leading the country when it comes to practicing safe sex. An island man speaks out about saving three people in the Northumberland Strait. I just thank God that we heard the, their cries for help. And a U.S. newspaper takes a swipe at PEI as a hotbed for drugs. That much needed sunshine comes back tomorrow and stays with us for at least three more days. Good evening. Bruce is away tonight. Some good news. Tonight on News Final. A contaminated meat scare triggers a massive recall. Affected meat that could be in your kitchen or favorite restaurant. Plus, a young woman clings to life after a high-speed rollover. Was street racing behind the horrific crash? Also ahead, David Miller under fire. The mayor defends his absence during the aftermath of the propane explosion. Clear skies and cool temperatures tonight, but we've got heat and humidity on the way. And Usain Bolt strikes twice. How the Jamaican ran away with another gold and another world record. And tonight is the toast of Toronto's little Jamaica. From the Global Newsroom in Toronto, News Final with Leslie Roberts. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with our... Tonight. A major Maple Leaf recall and piloting a program for military families. It's uh, very tangible. I can't see uh, a more worthwhile charity. You're watching the CTV News. Good evening. Health officials are issuing a major alert right across the country tonight. One person... Hoy en su noticiero nacional Azteca América, hospitales cómplices de la migra, en vez de curar a los enfermos, los deportan. No solo combaten a los ladrones, también le hacen a la cigüeña. ¡Ya basta! Escandalosa cifra de asesinatos de mujeres en Guatemala. Roba a todo galope. Misterioso ladrón hace sus fechorías al estilo del viejo oeste. Escuelas del vicio. Primero permiten armas, ahora el alcohol. Pedicure de última moda, pies bellos y sanos, a punta de mordidas. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le va? Muy buenas tardes, un gusto saludarlos. Como siempre, yo soy José Martín Sámano. Vamos. Contra la delincuencia, 80% de sus locales han sido asaltados. Rechazo total a la nueva cárcel, no la quieren a pesar de que habría trabajo. Rescatan a 28 centroamericanos secuestrados en Veracruz. Como en el viejo oeste, se busca un forajido a caballo. 
En un panteón de Guanajuato está a punto de reventar. Ya no cabe ni un alma. ¿Qué tal Las Vegas? Muy buenas tardes, un gusto saludarlo, es un placer que nos acompañe este día. ¿Cómo estás Roberto? Excelente Cristian, ¿y tú? Muy bien también, gracias. Me da mucho gusto saludarte y como todos los días precisamente tenemos mucha información. Here's what's happening right now in New Brunswick. Done deal in St. John. But I can't sit around waiting for the next wooden ship to be built in St. John. Irving gets City Hall's blessing and closer to building its headquarters. Moncton's gamble. We certainly don't want to get stuck with the uh, any added costs with respect to policing and security. The casino will be built, but does the city really want it? Well, it's going to be like a fall day tomorrow. But summer returns before the weekend arrives. It's a go, and tonight Irving Oil is... NBC 739, News in the Morning. Without immediate action by Congress. We are canceling all our regular programs for the next eight hours so that ABC News can bring you full coverage of the 1972 elections. ABC News presents complete nationwide coverage of tonight's election 72. Brought to you by J.C. Penney. Tomorrow morning, our 1,700 stores and our catalog will be waiting to help you find what you're looking for. Now from election headquarters in New York, the anchormen of the ABC Evening News, Harry Reasoner and Howard K. Smith. Good evening. Well, at last, the long wait is over. Tonight, we find out whether the pollsters were right and there's going to be a Nixon landslide. Partly right, he'll win a modest victory, or whether they were wrong and McGovern's going to win. As you for Washington for today. WRC-TV, Channel 4, Washington. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Good morning. This is today. It's Tuesday, May 16th. I'm Frank McGee, and here are the headlines. Alabama Governor George Wallace is holding his own after surgery. A 21-year-old Milwaukee man has been arrested as his assailant. Primaries are being conducted today in Maryland and in Michigan. And those headlines explain in a way why the Today Show is split up this morning. Barbara... We'll be back after this station break. CNBC News coverage of the Michigan and Maryland primaries tonight. Good morning. Partly cloudy today in Washington. Chance of a thunder shower this afternoon. High today about 75. Right now it's 56 degrees. Doctors are keeping a close watch on the condition of Governor George Wallace. He remains on the critical list from four bullet wounds he suffered at the hands of a would-be assassin. At this is News 4 Washington Today with Don Doak. Michigan, 
Charlotte, Maryland. Two important primaries in one night, and NBC News will be there with live coverage of the returns Tuesday at 10.30, 9.30 Central, and 7.30 Pacific Time. Decision 72. You make it. We re... Channel 5, Nashville. This is Election Night, Tennessee, with Chris Clark and Jerry Gold reporting. Brought to you by your local Coca-Cola bottlers. Good evening. The polls close in Nashville in about seven minutes, but 31% of the precincts have been counted in Tennessee, and so far Richard Nixon is holding on to a lead that he caught at the very beginning of the vote count. Checking Channel 5, Nashville. CBS News coverage of Election Night 68. Reporting from Election Headquarters, Walter Cronkite. Hello there again. And with 3% now of the national popular vote in. Who bowls 34% of the vote. Jerry Goat for some area returns. Jerry? To fill the vacated seat of Republican Thurston Martin, Kentuckians have elected... Marlo Cook of Jefferson County. Channel 5, Nashville. Next at 10. Copper thieves will now have a harder time stealing telephone lines in one New Mexico county. We'll show you how a phone company is cracking down on the crime. And Eyewitness News 4 gets a first exclusive look at the new rail runner route to Santa Fe. Pepto-Bismol. Live local late breaking coverage. This is Eyewitness News 4 at 10. Fighting back. We look at the way authorities are trying to catch copper thieves in the act. Taking a test drive. We take a ride on the rail runner as it takes a practice run up to Santa Fe County. Pros and cons. We have a new poll that shows what each presidential candidate has going for him and what voters think could cost them the race. It's the new fad for thieves looking for easy money. Plundering copper wire. Anyone? Chopper 4, responding immediately when news breaks. With a dedicated news team on site, ready to fly in seconds. We have Chopper 4 up so you can see what is going on on the ground. Chopper 4 is live local late breaking coverage. Half Price Thursdays on Good Day New Mexico is your chance to get amazing deals for half... The sights and sounds of the Paladero Canyon are no longer in jeopardy. Tonight, Laura Rice has more on a multi-million dollar deal to preserve the park. Plus, after hitting an all-time low just three months ago, Lake Meredith appears to be bouncing back. But first, a chemical agent is injected into a Pampa home tonight, helping end a seven-hour standoff. Thanks for joining us tonight for Pro News 7 at 10. I'm Wendy Finney. And I'm Mitch Roberts. After hours of negotiations, an intense police standoff in Pampa is finally over. Tonight, the will be right back. The Panhandle area's most accurate, trusted, and balanced newscast. With Mitch Roberts and Wendy Finney. Sports with Lee Baker. Weather with Storm Search 7 Chief Meteorologist Steve Kirsch. And the Pro News 7 fact checking team. This is Pro News 7 at 10. Dizziness and frequent falls are symptoms. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are out here live in Moore. It is a chilly night for football. We are getting ready for Westmore versus Norman. And of course, we are in week eight of our high school football season. So expect another big matchup. Tonight. This is the News on 6 at 5. More bad news and stocks tumbling again. The struggling economy deals a tough blow to a green country company. Support for this year's Tulsa run is coming from a war zone. And football laid the groundwork for a special bond between a father and son. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. We begin at 5 with breaking news. One person is being treated right now after being rescued from an apartment fire in South Tulsa. New at 6 on News Channel 8. 
Gas prices are on a free fall. The big question is, can they go any lower? Some experts we talk to say yes. Bridges are included in that street plan you'll be voting on. We'll tell you why some say it's a good thing and some say it's not. How would you like all you can eat barbecue just for one price? I'll tell you about barbecue on the water and your weekend forecast. This is News Channel 8, coverage you can count on. And we do want to begin now with breaking news in the city south side. That's where an apartment caught fire and a woman had to be rescued. The blaze broke out at the South Glen apartment complex about an hour ago. Right. This is News Channel 8, covering tonight's breaking news in Oklahoma with Carol Lambert. Charles Ely, tracking storms with the power of Doppler 8000, Chief Meteorologist Frank Mitchell, and Sports Director Chris Lincoln. You're watching News Channel 8 at 6. Coverage you can count on. Tonight, after the game, another threatening letter sent to a bank in Oklahoma. The harm these letters may bring to the city. Plus, a major makeover for a lot of students in Oklahoma. The new guidelines that will make their school day safer tonight after the game. This is the Fox Primetime News at 9. A threatening letter is mailed to the Chase Bank downtown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Spino. And I'm Jamie Serretta. It's the second time this week a bank in the metro has received a letter. Hair services for the Fox 25 News provided by Salon W at 7304 Northwestern. You're watching Andrew Spino, Jamie Serretta, Chief Meteorologist Jeff George, and Sports with Liam McHugh. This is the Primetime News at 9. Across the country, thousands of school buses are getting a makeover. They're still going to be yellow, but the real change... In high definition, this is News Channel 5, where the news comes first. It's been more than four years since crime scene tape went up at this murder scene. Tonight, a victim's family has closure. Good evening. Tonight, a verdict in a St. Charles homicide case that remained un... Breaking news, breaking weather, solving problems. This is Fox 23 News at 9. So what do you really think about Tulsa streets? In just 11 days, Tulsa voters will vote on a five-year street improvement. The Fox 23 Sports Buzz presents a new kind of high school football show. Los Cabos High School Football Tonight. More coverage than anybody else at a time that everybody can watch. Highlights, scores, the big plays, and more. Los Cabos High School Football Tonight. Tonight at 11, only on Fox 23. Now, from the first Oklahoma station to bring you local news in high definition, this is 2 News Works For You at 10. Good evening, I'm Carol Larson. Russ has the night off. We begin with breaking news. Police are investigating a shooting in East Tulsa tonight. 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck joins us live from the scene with more on this. Casey, what's the latest? Well, Karen, the victim was gunned down here less than an hour ago. Police tell me that he has died. You're watching the only local station in high definition for breaking news and your certified most accurate forecast. 2 News HD with Karen Larson, Russ McCaskey, Chief Meteorologist Dan Threlkeld, and the most trusted name in Oklahoma sports, Big Al Jerkin. This is 2 News HD at 10. Starts now. You're watching Color 10 News at 10 with Kate Stacy and Chris Grogan. Well, first to 10, it is the end of an era for a popular amusement park. Yeah, owners of Celebration City and Branson are permanently closing that facility, and that caught a lot of people off guard in this final. You're watching Color 10 News at 10 with Kate Stacy and Chris Grogan. you can count on with Jill Gilardi. We're expecting one more mild day before the temperatures. You're watching KSFX Ozark Spot. You're watching KSFX News at 9, the Ozarks Primetime News. A newly formed faith-based group is helping women with breast cancer. I'll have more coming up. 
Plus, crime strikes a Springfield nightclub for the second time in as many months. And an Arkansas news anchor loses her battle against a brutal attacker and leaves a lot of unanswered questions tonight. First on Fox, the journey for those dealing with breast cancer can... You're watching KSFX News at 9 with Chris Grogan, meteorologist Jill Gillardi, and Charlie Hanama Sports. KSFX News at 9, the Ozarks primetime news. I was unaware of what methadone was. The day before he passed away, I found a couple of pills on the floor. It's one of the most misunderstood drugs on the market, but its usage is on the rise and the results can be fatal. I was slowly killing myself, definitely. Methadone can ruin lives and tear families apart. I'm not sure whether he had a heart attack or whether he stopped breathing. Watch Methadone Clinics Tuesday on KSFX News at 9. Get half price deals at OzarksFirst.com. John Daly's murder. ABC for the Ozarks. Covering our community. This is KSPR News This Morning. Coming up on KSPR News This Morning, an early morning fire engulfs the house on North Springfield. All the details are on the way. Plus, parents. You're watching KSPR News This Morning with Kyle Bosch and weather with Natalie Nunn. KSPR. Covering our community. Watching the best. Fox 10 News at 9. A corrections officer from this Valley prison carjacked and shot. Was he targeted? What investigators are saying. An incredible scene tonight. What turned an Arizona freeway into a parking lot? Millions used them to get a boost of energy. The surprising amount of caffeine in some of those energy drinks and what that can do to your body. And the jury that just can't seem to make up its mind about Brittany. Fox 10 News starts now. Just weeks ago, she found out she was pregnant, and now she's... You're watching Fox 10 News at 9 with John Hook and Carrie Lake. Fox 10 News uncovers some new information about this immigration raid by Deputy Sheriff... Live from Phoenix, Fox 10 News at 10. So is there a Republican locked up in a fierce battle? So what's his... Hi, I'm Wayne Gretzky, and I've been honored by hockey fans who call me the great one. Now it's my turn to introduce Pat McMahon, the short one. <laughs> now, from the London Center in Phoenix, it's the Pat McMahon Show. I'm in stitches. I'm telling you, that Canadian humor always gets me. Hi. His fingers were basically dead, as was his legs and the skin about halfway up his legs on both sides. A virus we've all heard of nearly claims the life of a young teenager. Tonight, what every parent should know about this rare reaction to strep. Another tumultuous day on Wall Street tonight. Financial advice for all of us from one of the world's richest men. There's no uh, indication of, of break-in, but so somehow somebody got in. And... Creative crooks targeting downtown businesses, what they're after, and how you can protect yourself. But first... They, they may think it's fun to play in, and in fact can be very dangerous to them. A mother's mistake could land her in jail. Why investigators say she contributed to the deaths of her two young children. Colorado's most watched 9 o'clock news. This is Fox 31 News at 9 o'clock. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Libby Weaver. And I'm Ron Zappola. We'll have... You're watching Fox 31 News with Ron Zappola, Libby Weaver, Chief Meteorologist Chris Dunn, and Chris Tanaka with sports. This is Fox 31 News at 9 o'clock. From KRDO-TV... This is News Channel 13, where the news comes first. Now, I'm not going to 
take any of your questions. Breaking news, top stories, live reports. KRDO News Radio is the only station with the experience and commitment to cover the local story. Working with the staff of News Channel 13, we bring you complete coverage of breaking news anytime, anywhere. Live team coverage. More traffic. More local weather. The largest staff. More people are making the switch to KRDO News Radio, 105.5 FM and 1240 AM, where the news comes first. How much is your gold? This is News Channel 13 with Rebecca Stevens and meteorologist Josh Poland. News Channel 13, where the news comes first. President Bush is planning on hosting another summit to discuss ways to fix the global.